<laughs> it was extremely unfortunate to see Gauss PDF go. <laughs> uh, to continue this thread and convey, I think we're on uh, main to order. Tonight's open press lecture will, well, uh, first of all, thank you to Matthew and to all of the other curators of this wonderful weekend. I've had a, a really great time. Uh, so I'll begin with an attributive processing rate. So the entire phase is conducted by a single Gauss PDF from S, 2010 to death. Any saturated edge or edge not going from a vertex of rank I to a vertex of rank I plus one is termed to the catalog, a bistable and skipped format, instead of using the list of edges in the layered network, as will be referred to henceforth by a randomly selected test group of posts. It is sufficient to compute just the layer number, rank, distance for every entry up to and including the last, the last being S and T. This may be done by a single run of the usual posting from T on the unsaturated edge of the prior entry S in the inverse edge direction around its site, albeit regressively. Less promulgation of facial recognition than attritional compliance with the catalog. This is to suggest that no posts should be built ever. Gauss PDF 2014 presentation and reading. Open press, October 12th, uh, 7 p.m. Welcome. Approach. Decisions related to our catalog and, in general, a capacity for reading here on in and as the service of constitutive relation are gutters, really, to the relatively editorially insignificant attributions of their publication multiplier insight, or lack, as they had hoped would come to pass, and worked into with the abstention from implemented and production planned measures that were a statement across a post set of two or three. Releases considered calibration of a retreat inconsistent with the SNT publication regression vertex, in some manner. However, implicitly, depressing as any practical concern with a sequential or with sequential optimization and social media promotion that serve to amplify and will be, unfortunately, later described in detail. <laughs> Those that signal at least somewhat improving performance rates, lacking however much in the very last of its resources. It has fed its goodbyes, goodbye, and may fail to meet any alien life halfway. Without GPDF, as in tonight's example, the penultimate thing, the closed door, it would simply perish, no manner reminiscent gone without the GPDF zero. So RIP to that. Yep. <laughs> A little history awaits. And welcome to my reading. <laughs> Introduction, Gauss PDF, the early days. 2010, sitting down at a desk. In a crudely and regrettably attempted take on non-anthropocentric reference to Gauss PDF as demographic output, as intersected by ridiculous self-negligence and a disastrous tendency toward lamenting the stringency of genre, and then neglecting to define it, haha, the early days passed by hastily. The intercept and slope of a likewise determined publication, herein called GPDF, Gauss PDF, well, as to its proficiency as distributive measure against isomorphy, its topographical feature space, failed here the first time, then we'd fail the second time, and then perhaps forever. Yes, appealing as I found the line of thought I just explored, I suspect it will work. The problem is that, as I stressed at the very beginning of this section, access to strengthened entertainment is available to ordinary speakers, and so is access to the reasoning that establishes their paradoxicality. 
Although intuitions of this sort are never the final word, evidentially speaking, still it seems clear that if we press the hierarchical view in natural languages with respect to the more rarefied semantic idioms used to construct gas pdf's overall aesthetic we are doing so only because of our desperation to escape a paradoxical conclusion a decisive party and not because of empirical evidence that such terms as they are employed in natural languages really do apply hierarchically if these experiments were conducted routinely, then the process models may not be representative of the isomorphic limitation, which, of course, as, unfortunately, were not planned, of the true pre-flow process behavior when operating in a full-scale production mode that I'm going to talk a little bit more about when I talk about my journal now. I was writing Gauss PDF. We should specify that, in fact, the representative in presentation mode should not be construed as anthropo-curatorial instance of Gauss PDF as platform, publication, website, etc. The Board of Trustees intends only to flush data away where and when invited to do so or appear a fake diversion where normalization parameters might otherwise tolerate tacit pressure to embody an image or missive that in turn determines its quality or worse aesthetic reputational buffer between contributors site and unbodily editor it discriminates curatorial edifice or whatever <laughs> Um, we were supposed to have a PowerPoint. Um, uh, we, we had originally planned a PowerPoint and optimization of catalog, uh, but all one of our newer trustees neglected to send a final version of the presentation before I came down here. Um, but I, I, sorry, I thought I brought a substitute. I, I, I wrote it turned out I had in. Uh, in any case, we will fulfill a certain time constraint with dislocation. The performance, insert Blanc Press and Phoneme Media's readers, and Felice Lucia Molina as proximal slash exemplary accounts in resolution of improving grade and what truth values we are susceptible to at this event. These mostly apply to capacity invested and are a little elusive. Inventory held, which at this date, comprises some number of entries, some of which designated GPDF editions, facilitate production systems, while others and made to order production systems, which I fucking enjoy and you can probably tell, are implemented by Lulu Enterprises. Uh, those will only merit brief discussion, however. Lulu's system is not publicly disclosed, and this analysis is dual priority. An increase in range uncertainty about the order arrival rate leads to a higher probability that more than one machine with smaller processing rates are optimal to comparison uh, in a well-known order arrival rate when only the would-be lower levels of innovators type processing rate has to be decided under uncertainty. The relation sets for the conditioning of an applied sample group N, GPDF number, number, and number, which will then undergo several verificatorily unordered cost structures and linear transitions. I will get to those now. <laughs> GPDF update at 7 p.m. and I'm wide awake at open press. Thank the curators and audience. These can arise from different products viewed by different audiences or can result from audience diversification by way of shrewd marketing and publicity opportunities. For instance, blog interviews. 
survey or they can occur on account of the planning uncertainty the audience is privy to its referential loop, more or eventually satisfying its functionality as the nettings of various psychical outputs and independent aesthetic modes. As a publication, the lead time on the slow motion of a post going up would suggest, if not my own fault as editor, then for the sake of our translatorily messed up renditions of GPDF posts, inconsistently an archival measure, or predicative, which I also liked, the latency between initiation and execution when you assign and carefully grade, is in theory quite small Apple math, he clucked later on at the show, as we were conversing around 10 p.m., to have borrowed randomly, captivating from elsewhere an entire catalog. As may soon happen with Tom Kamita, um, we're going to be posting his uh, basically like catalog to date uh, in the near future, uh, just comprised of like some 40 books or so. Um, so really looking forward to that. Conditioned rather as a perpetual node around which this audience plays all or nothing model and individuals aggregated implied tying under their advertising time. Hmm. And maintained as the future of our ecological coextensive clone job with failure. That is to say, Exhibiting a selection statements that cannot be made by mere effort toward the production of environmentally perpetuated effort, appearing static, structureless, lifeless, or at least in some way insufficient, unfortunately. List and place domain and see what it was worth to them after. For contributors, however, things are better, both logistically and culturally. Come on along and I'll show you. I think you're gonna like what you see. Chapter two, Gauss goes for a drive. <laughs> Please apply to GASPDF in 2015. I will hand the forms around later. And as with the aforementioned fluidity and serious economic impact, regardless of the values sustained beyond GPDF, none. Apologize for delays in publishing. This is where I, I, I apologize that it's not as fluid a system as I'm making out to be. I get kind of backed up sometimes with submissions. Um, so I apologize if you sent me something. It's taken me a while. I'm, I'm working on it. Yes, I am very sorry. I have not yet published SNT. They have not yet emailed me, which is kind of frustrating. I will wait it out. This being the case, if the experiments are poorly conducted, then the developed process models may not be representative of the true process behavior when operating in a full-scale production mode. Chapter three, social media stuff. <laughs> the necessary transmission data for Gauss PDF is, I regret to inform the lot of this audience, an apportionment of natural output for why loadings indicate data for when the smallest grades are at the top of the graph. As only a contract addre contact address was provided, or as you RSVP'd and got the folder, overall production lead time kept a pace. A Bowser design of queuing systems are unknown. Whichever, this might be a good point to pay due diligence to what is doubtless the most powerful augmentation of GPDF's visitudinal history and eventual demise, Facebook. Founded in 2004 by Mark Zuckerberg, Facebook is an online social networking service headquartered in Menlo Park, California. After registering to use the site, users may create a personal profile and add other users as friends, exchange messages, post status updates and photos, and receive notifications when others update their profiles. Additionally, users may use common interest user groups organized by workplace, school, or college, or other characteristics. 
and categorize their friends into lists such as people from work or close friends. Facebook had over 1 billion active users as of September 2012, of which approximately 9% were fake. By that point, Facebook was adding about half a petabyte of data every 24 hours, amounting to about 180 petabytes per year. It is no small exaggeration to claim that Gauss PDF's Facebook page has been a true boom from watch listings. Exponentially increased the breadth of its audience seemingly willy-nilly. By posting updates and links, as well as revel, re, uh, relevant cultural material, excuse me, uh, to our Facebook page, we saw a 30% increase in traffic over the course of 18 months. For us, that was great. Simply encouraging. <laughs> Facebook is a powerful means of capturing attention, opening up discourse surrounding contemporary publishing and poetics, and offering just the inconsistent views necessary for an impressionistic and hardly bore idea that amounts to a commitment to friends and likes. Fuck me. Uh, introduction, the chairman assignment problem. Okay, this one I also left at home. I don't have this material. Um, so, so send work to Gauss PDF. Great. That's the second to last thing. Um, now, an unsaturated edge problem. Okay. It's a wild way of time. Test. Now, let's say a human walks into open press and says, I want to send my work to Gas PDF and have it published. What do I do? What the fuck am I supposed to do? Edit? Let go? Of course not they then must require some kind of introduction or inquiry on the part of submitting. Introduction, submitting work. When responding to a possible contributor who is asking any advice at open press, or an intermediary who's as capacitated and inordinate enforcement of submission policy, surface level belonging without its tepidly corrosive San Francisco apartment where trustees collect all possible data on a standard form, sample it, and return to the contributor an email ranging zero to 250 words in length. There, they're unclaimed to experiences spur a comprehensive sense of displacement. The information and results of analysis are attached to each response. And as the coupling Bay Area stuff through an easy to fill application. Following this, the end advice is immediately assessed. Outputs are granted either entirely to the will of the computer in use, public or private. Instructed by my fieldwork grant, presented really kind of coldly by the Gauss PDF trustees, or printed for my own insular and obscure needs, or basic preservation. The contributor must then fill out these three forms. Form 1 shows the contributor's address and other basic information, including necessary demographic information. Form 2 summarizes the characteristics of the project, a general history of the contributor's work in cultural production, characteristics of up to three other works, and recent applications thereof. Form 3 is a permission form, allowed for the predicted mean ratio of historicization log and characteristics demonstrated elsewhere to the location and qualities exceeding the limitations of an already established art, including writing, video, etc., or canon, and advice to a restoring a present room to maneuver the negative sign. Finally, the algorithm conducting all of these averages provides potential end losses through leaching before the application of Gauss PDF's platform. This table ideally suggests to the contributor the means by which he or she may increase the rate of an application, i.e. cohesion with the platform, above those shown to match prior N estimations and, uh, of loss aesthetic or historical decrepitude, the repetition of an approach already established. Thank the audience. These three forms are sent to the grower for information and advice before the crops are planted. Form 
Following the reception of the form, they are further analyzed by the GPDF and are determined to either be fit for publication immediately, fit for later publication, or rejectable. Very, 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 very few are rejectable and very, very nice. In the first two cases, a letter of congratulations and the final contract are sent to the contributor, along with an estimated date of publication and congratulatory message, as well as a $25 gift certificate for Uber. In the final instance, a form rejection letter stating briefly the reasons for which the piece cannot be published. Such arrangements are of substantial importance to the development of the GPDF platform, insofar as this. 2014, and of course I don't have my fucking PowerPoint here, so I can't read this next page to you. <clears throat> The optimization of catalog may require solving of the earlier described chairman assignment problem under invariant conditions or inertial terms. No. I'm extremely sorry to report a solution. It is not even clear that a term would ill define in spite of its frequent use in the problem with a predefined set of processing rates as proposed and shown under dynamical constraints S and T. I'll call these generic if I haven't already said they're dumb or stupid. Kill them if you see them. Part two, chapter five, open press. This is the penultimate open press thing. In this phase of analysis, we consider the placement of feed content, termed sensors, they're around, in several locations, attest and analyze the preceding series and other dissipation rates, i.e. the manner in which they evolve over time. Um, and at this point in my script, I, I indicate to myself to like apologize for any perceived cynicism um, throughout the course of this performance. Um, you know, it, it's, I, I guess it's just kind of a laugh. I, I'm not, I'm not typically uh, uh, this cynical um, or like uh, given to kind of like technical nonsense. Um, but that's the reading. In particular, the time, the sequence of readings configured to an eventual maximum attendance during the night to say to its buddies, during which a set of components in motion, i.e. not the performers, for a single constituent of them mattered. A trend, a seasonal, the, I know, all remainder the last GPDF entry, and recording in process. Up next, we have Feliz, who will be reading from Hair Hearts Flip, uh, which is a really fantastic work. It reminds me of um, what Carrie was talking about earlier with respect to kind of like mid to late aughts blog culture. I feel like uh, uh, Feliz's work really succinctly captures the feeling of blogging at that time. Um, and I must thank her for her beautiful production here as well. Um, now, we're getting close. Uh, you may be wondering, what else about our trustees is Basil? This will end soon. They define the long-term enforcing surface level trend, schedule and budgets and nodes, points, or vertices of the flesh, of the look more natural or could be considered as the tendency to increase by animated image by animated image, publication, decrease or remain constant over a long period of time, population. The seasonal or periodic component is given by one or more periodic components, taking the same or similar value at a fixed distance presented as time or, except to manipulate, a question of price. Finally, the remainder component determines short-term fluctuations in the series. This decomposition is important to, or, uh, in order to estimate and remove a regular and predictably referenced component which could slumber useful information, and to consider only meaningful changes in the band offset trend. In particular, in our context, changes in band offset can be due to regular and repetitive factors, for example, to natural light and temperature changes during the day, while other changes can be due to human actions on actuators. This first case is that some of them 
uh, some of the implementations are out nodes, but they are all probably zeros. The second case is that some of its implementations are not out nodes, and at least one of such nodes is non-zero. In this case, the out node board is set to zero, and the shape information helps the decoder to know that this is an out node. Coding continues. I chop down the light further down the shit. There is no need to use a separate symbol for any drawings that cloud instead of clarify. Graveyard, track, graveyard, goodbye. In our Unfortunately, Gauss PDF died in 2011. A few years later, I visited the site and produced another plan, which was apparently an enclosure version of it, the function from which a general climate and therefore trap rather than a methodology profited. There was a dynamic transition from one macro state to the other. No edge removal is needed, buddy. If the site backtracks on some edge, that edge will not participate in the remaining part the site automatically repurposes in entry. They're buddies. Thank you. <laughs>